Hello Ryder, welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now? And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. That's... pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone but you. It's open now. Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains Dad's interest. They were Pathfinders too. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate. <laughs> the coffee machine Mom got for Dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. Sam, this is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm happy to pass along my research. I hope your team finds it useful. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. 
How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're gonna find out. I hope you'll understand. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. It's how Dad was wired. He didn't like to lose, in any situation. It would seem that included me. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Do you know anything more about Sarah's condition? I monitor Dr. Carlyle's reports. He is providing her with the very best care possible. I'm afraid there is nothing more to be done at this time. What are your capabilities? Each arc houses a SAM. Simulated, adaptive, matrix. Each is an artificial intelligence designed by Alec Ryder to support Pathfinders and their teams. But AI is illegal in the Milky Way. How'd my dad get around that? Exceptions were made. The initiative deemed his research vital to the mission. Our design was conducted in secret. So there are other SAMs out there? Correct. However, your father continued to modify my own routines until the Hyperion's departure. I am the most advanced SAM in the initiative. That's all for now. Of course. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were an advanced race that flourished in the Milky Way about 50,000 years ago, then went extinct. Even at the time of this writing, the year 2182, 
Their culture remains a mystery. During my studies, I have developed some practices that can be used when analyzing any ancient culture. I hope they may prove useful for the research community. Your father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um... My work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a broken arm. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there, alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Mom was practical. Living in denial wasn't going to solve anything. Yet Alec didn't see it that way. He persisted. Logic goes out the window when your wife is dying. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? 
Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. Ryder, Parlapon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... You're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad. That does tend to happen. Right, right. I know. So, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, oh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, the emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Ida, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is when Alec first learned of the initiative. It will be just a moment. Hello, Alec. I'm too old for cloak and dagger. I got your message. I'm here. Who are you? A benefactor, if you like. You have something to offer me? A future. That's vague. A future for your wife. You're out of money. Your contacts have dried up. You can't finish, Sam. How do you know about... I can help you. Whatever you need. Start by telling me what you need. Your AI is more than a cure for your wife. It could also be the salvation for many others. I don't follow. Where we're going, we'll need a different perspective to understand things. Where's that? The Andromeda Galaxy? I have a proposal for you. 
And Ellen doesn't have much time. Are you interested? Who was that? The benefactor? I believe there was more to the Andromeda Initiative than was publicly understood. Private logs are now available in your father's quarters. They may shed further light on the matter. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching ancient Protheans. It is common knowledge that the Protheans were... Your father's personal logs. I had a strange meeting yesterday. I thought it would be with Jien Garson who founded the initiative, but it wasn't. I guess Jien's the visionary, the one who gets everyone excited about the project and drums up publicity. But then this benefactor apparently provides resources and money. And I mean a lot of money. It's a little unusual. But everything about this project is... Interesting. I wonder if Director Tan knows anything about this. Worth talking to him. I accepted the initiative's offer. They're calling me a Pathfinder. There's no other option left. Sam will never happen without their help. Our savings are gone, and no one will return my calls. I am a pariah. There's something strange going on with this benefactor. But Ellen's getting worse. I can't fail her. Congratulations are in order. Peaceful contact with the Angara. It's everything the initiative stands for. From what I've seen, we could spend years learning about their culture. I am sure you have pleased our scientists to no end. This was a rare occurrence in the Milky Way. In the meantime, I am eager to forge diplomatic ties with the Angaran people. We need any allies we can get. Did you have some other business? I'm curious. What do you know about the people who backed the initiative? What everyone knows. Gian Carson was the founder and visionary. Unfortunately, she died on the Nexus during the Scourge disaster. Is there anyone else? I would almost welcome them. A voice to silence the rabble. Then Cash might listen. But no, we're alone. Why do you ask? I have information that suggests Garson wasn't the only one. What sort of information? It's complicated, but there was a silent partner. A benefactor. Even if that were true, we've been here 14 months with no sign of them. This partner is either a phantom, missing, or dead. No, Gian Garson was the beacon. A sad end to someone of such stature. Dying alone. Oh? It was chaos. By the time they found her, she was already dead. Succumbed to her injuries. Was there a follow-up investigation? I wasn't even out of stasis. But knowing the violence of the Scourge disaster, death was everywhere. If you're suggesting something else happened, Ryder, I'd rather you didn't. Let's not add to the confusion. Thank you for your time. Ryder, if you wish to pursue this further, accessing Nexus security records may reveal more information. fact is that her body was found in one of the apartments. Then connecting her death to the Scourge disaster was mere speculation. Yeah, they just wanted this to go away. 
I think we need to check out that apartment. Environmental data will allow us to reconstruct the scene. This is where Jean Garson's body was discovered. What are we looking for? If you scan the room, environmental data may allow for scene recreation. There. This was no accident. She was murdered. As this incident occurred over a year ago, her killer is likely far away by now. Yeah. But, wait. This whole area was shuttered back then. Didn't open until the Hyperion arrived. So what was Garson even doing here? Perhaps a further scan of the room is in order. A hidden door. What do we have here? This is Gian Garson. I don't have much time. I've been hiding in the sealed off sections of the Nexus since we got here. Someone's trying to kill me. And now I can hear them down in the hydroponics area. They're coming. I've embedded what I know in my VI in the cultural center. This log has the code. And whatever happens... Oh god, they're outside the door. Wow, this is some serious shit. Yes, deeply troubling. I have the code you mentioned for the VI kiosk. Sam, can we hear that message Garson talked about? Unlocking it now. Rerouting to our private channel. For years, there was a silent partner involved with the initiative. The truth is, I was running out of money. Then a benefactor stepped in. I didn't ask questions. I never met them face to face. That was a mistake. I lied to everyone. Something big spooked them in the Milky Way, and now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for the good, but... I have my doubts. And now I think they're going to remove me. Alec Ryder and I had a code word for this. Fulcrum. He may have learned more. What did that mean? Something big in the Milky Way? Perhaps your father's locked memories hold the answer. He might have known more. Yeah. Guess I'll have to keep unlocking them to find out for sure. One of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from your mother's final day. It was a good fight, soldier. It's not over yet. Alec. No. Alec, we have a few hours. Let's enjoy them. And after that? We'll still have each other, but we want you. I love you, Mom. I love you. Both of you. Live your lives. Do great things. I see so much potential in you. And remember, fall in love at least once. I'll let you guys talk. Say it, Alec. 
say it, then I will. Goodbye. Watch out for the kids. Be there for them. I will. Mourn me, Alec, but don't let this destroy you. What did you used to say when you were in N7? When your back's against the wall, if you can't run from it, use it. Remember that. Be strong. Never as strong as you. I love you, Ellen. I... I didn't expect that. Death remains an elusive concept for me. A finite end in a cosmos, otherwise filled with infinite possibilities. Everything ends. Life, stars, galaxies. They all die eventually. It's just how things work. Yet it appears this belief serves as a form of motivation for many organic life forms. It's why you exist. Dad hoped you could save her. And I failed. I never understood. With all your capabilities, Sam, why did she die? My ability to enhance organic physiology has limitations. Your mother's disease was systemic. It also seems that life is more than just biology. It is the will to continue living. I believe your mother accepted her fate, and likewise, her body surrendered. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it GN Garson said? The code word is Fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted, from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. So we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. There's still hope for your mother. Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. 
He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name, Elizabeth Riley. So this was dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what Gian Garson meant, that something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reaper's return was imminent. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. But why was Jean Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. Got it. I need to go find Mom. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your orbs made it out of the Milky Way, but... The worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are and all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. 
I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Um, Mom? No question there. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Riley? The initials. E. R. Are you saying? I saw Dad's last memory. E. R. is Ellen Ryder. He brought her along. Sarah, it's Mom. Oh my god. How is this possible? Apparently, putting her into stasis also put her disease on hold. Its progress has been halted. Alec put her in stasis after she fell unconscious in the hospital. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. I said the same thing. But does it really matter? She's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. But she's right here! How long do we have to wait? As long as it takes to perfect a cure. If her life or your father's means anything, we owe them that much. Sam's right. Give it time. We want to do this right. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, together. <laughs>